Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing amazing. Oh, anyways, thank you for all the sweet comments on the last video. I'm glad that you guys are excited as I am about Sarah finally finding love. There were a lot of good comments on the last video, actually. Like you guys told me about the horse ambrosia that you can buy in Chestnut Ridge, which is dope. I really want to do that because I want Dolly to stick around. I really like her, even though she gets in the way of everything. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> and then a lot of you guys left me comments about the wishing well uh, of how past, um, legacy uh, characters have actually had more than one wish which <sighs> that's kind of against the rules isn't it <laughs> yeah i think one wish per sim is good and then also for the gemstone that we have to cut that's worth 2500 dollars you guys suggested to wear uh quartz jewelry while making it and we have to be focused as well so gonna be trying that today fingers crossed we can get that done so we can move on to a different aspiration with ren i have an arizona tea today i absolutely love these the black and white tea is my favorite it's so good i used to drink the green tea like constantly in high school like that was my drink of choice but now <laughs> it's the black and white tea it's the best flavor don't at me <sighs> i'm so excited for this right now cheers guys thank you for being here with me today i love you so much let's get into it okay guys here we are back in the legacy household i was oh i downloaded rpo again hopefully it doesn't make my game lag fingers crossed but this mod i just love it especially for legacy it really enhances the storytelling so I've got temporary separations, cheating and jealousy, insemination, surrogacy, custody and permanent separations, termination of pregnancy, miscarriages and pregnancy loss, and romance and friendships. Those are the uh, ones that I have installed. Right, so I turned off um, autonomy. One of you guys suggested if you're trying to take pictures of your sims, turn autonomy off and it works so much smoother. So yeah, I did do that because I needed a picture of Sarah for the legacy house, which I did redo a little bit. Let me show you guys. So I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like before, but I had these like pedestals that I would put all of their objects on and it was just getting a little too crowded. It was a little too messy. So I decided to use these like display boxes from the Crystal Creations kit, I believe, pack, I can't remember. But yeah, um, so we've got everyone's pets and their memorabilia in the box or on top. Um, and I made all of the pictures black and white. And yeah, I just really like the way that this looks. And then, um, yeah, so here's Charlie. I mean, Edison, my bad. <laughs> we've got his marriage certificate, some wine, his computer, uh, his pet urn, and the soccer ball that he always used to kick with Sarah. And then we've got Sarah so far. This is the picture I took of her, she's so cute. But we have her cheer flag, a little uh, flower, just to represent like the romance. And then this book thing she got from her career. So I put that on there. Oh my God, I've got really bad acid right now, excuse me. But anyway, I think it looks pretty good now. So let's look at the calendar, shall we? I'm so excited to play today. Um, oh, it's Halloween, right, 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 right. What should we do? Eris is a baby still, so he can't really do much, but I guess, Sarah and Ren. Oh, we can invite um, her new girlfriend over. They're not technically um, girlfriend and girlfriend yet, but oh, she's still here though. I'm glad that you guys like her. I'm a big fan of her as well. Do I need to turn autonomy back on? Is she leaving? Oh, apply. Okay. You are free to do whatever you like now. I always forget that you could turn that off. Yeah, so this guest house is unoccupied now. I think what I want to do, it's only two o'clock. What should we do right now? It is Halloween. Hmm. I don't know. This stage in their lives, they're not really like big partiers. So I'm not really sure what we should do. I guess we could go out to that Halloween bar that I have, but then Eros will have to stay home with a nanny and he really, he desperately needs some attention. So let's go ahead and give him some. Oh, let's read to him. You guys also said to discipline your toddler five times. You could like, you can make your toddlers burp and fart. Oh, it's raining. Mm, that's a bummer. But yeah, you can make your toddlers burp and fart and then have the <laughs> adult hey, discipline them after that. Hey, it's kind of like a, a, a good little hack. I like it. Love a good hack. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna read him this little book. While they do that, Ren, I need you to... So apparently if you craft something with quartz, you can sell your items for more. I assume that's what that means. Let me see if we have any. We have so much jewelry in her inventory. Like, <laughs> There's gotta be something in here. 
Sims will take long. Nope, that's not it. Breakups faster. Oh, this this is probably it, right? No, that's orange topaz. Sims will more likely create masterpieces. I don't think you can do a masterpiece jewelry. Wow, believe it or not, we have nothing made with quartz. Okay, let's go ahead and make something. Um, I'm thinking a necklace, probably. Let's do this lunar goddess, la, 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 lunar goddess necklace with obtainium. And then the crystal that we need is quartz. Wait, no, that's not it. Sims gain double satisfaction points when completing wants or aspirations. Sims cannot die. This one is honestly so insane to me. Oh man, we should have given that to Evangeline. Oh, that would have been so cool actually. Maybe it is the orange topaz because there isn't anything else that's like says anything about making stuff or like creative stuff, you know? Okay, well, we already have something with orange topaz, so let's throw it on. And then we need to get her focus somehow. I think we probably have a focus potion. Okay, let's see. Sleep, inspired, fun, flirty, energy, confident, focused. Okay, let's get her to drink that. Okay, very focused, look at her go. All right, oh my God, of course we don't have a freaking plum bite anymore. Come on, let's hope the trees have some. Damn, okay, we didn't get any plum bite. I might have to take the plum bite from down here for now and replace it later. And we also have the marketable trait, so that'll help us. Gosh, cross your freaking fingers, this works. All right. <laughs> She's gonna give him some food. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I don't know guys, it's raining. I don't think there's gonna be any trick-or-treaters. It's actually a thunderstorm. It's probably best that we stay home. I guess we could just have like a chill um, Halloween at home. Like we can make some spooky food and maybe watch a scary movie. That's at least what I would do if it was raining on Halloween. Okay, Ren, how's it going? Still working. She's still very focused gonna wear off though in 50 minutes all right she's almost done please 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 work please i really want to be done with this aspiration she's had it for so long it's actually so freaking hard who would have thought who would have thought this would be this difficult oh, it's about to wear off ren get off your phone it's gone it's done oh god thank you so much thank you thank you thank you sim gods Thank you. And thank you guys for all of your freaking comments. Oh my God, I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy crap, okay, we did it. Through countless hours dedicated to her craft, Ren has become perfectly attuned with her crystal creations. Trait earned, attuned. The crafted jewelry Ren wears will now remain charged for longer. Ren is also able to absorb energy from charged gemstones and jewelry. Yes. We freaking did it. We did the damn thing. All right, next, 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 next. What shall we do? I'm more interested in like the reward traits. Like I really wish you could be a spellcaster if you were a, a vampire, I wish you could be both. We could do expert nectar maker since we are working on that skill right now. I think that's probably the natural choice. Absorb energy, oh my gosh. Wow, yeah, this is worth 2,531. We barely made the gun. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. All right, how are those cookies coming? Are they done? You're already eating them, girl. All right, it's fine. Great. Should we put Eros in a costume anyways? He's still feeling so sad about the death of Edison. My poor baby, he's been sad for like, he's just been constantly sad. You can have a cookie once we start watching the movie, okay? Be gross, belch and fart. Okay, yeah, that's how you do it. This thing, I swear, if it pops up one more time, I'm gonna freak out. Once I put it away, it should not open again. It shouldn't. All right, belch, and then we'll discipline. Oh my gosh, calmly ask not to belch. Wow, yeah, that is pretty easy. Belch, fart. Oh, gross. Okay. <laughs> this is great. Whoa. All right, one more. Okay, perfect. Done. We did it. And we reached parenting level seven. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so what's next? Help a child with schoolwork. Have a child with a character value within range to receive a trait. Okay, so we need to get... Oh, that's for, that's for children though, not for toddlers. Oh no, they still have it actually. Okay, but... Oh, okay, we can we can we can teach him to say please and thank you right now, dude. How is it already nine thirty? Good grief! The cookies in here. All right, Moonlight Massacre three. Let's watch it with Ren. Why not? <laughs> Looks like Dolly's joining us. We gotta turn the lights off. Make it extra spooky in here. Ooh yeah! You guys better not get romantic. Let's have a cookie. She's having a plasma pack. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cute. This is pretty adorable. <laughs> Where's the party at? Sorry, Sarah, you have a child. A very young child. Sacrifices must be made. All right. The movie's done. Let's put the cookies away and go to bed. This house feels so empty without Edison and Eloise. I ain't even gonna lie. Halloween was awesome. Cool. I didn't even really do anything. I'll take it though. I'll take it. All right. Everyone is going to bed. Crazy. Oh no. Who was it this time? Natalie? What? She wasn't an elder, was she? Holy cow. We were just talking to her in the last episode. That's wild. Yeah, you guys were saying with the RPO mod, you can decide to not interact romantically with Sim. So I'm definitely going to pick Sarah. I really want to get her vampire powers up. I want to complete her vampire tree. So like we need another vampire to spar with, you know, maybe Caleb will be interested. Caleb is sleeping. What do you mean? He's a vampire. He should be up right now. <laughs> oh, wait, we have a vampire club. Lilith, Caleb and Kieran. Let's go ahead and start a gathering, shall we? I think Kieran might burn in the sun. So I can probably send him home. But yeah, let's see. Are you sizzling yet? You seem fine. The sun's not out. Hey, Caleb. I would really love to do uh, an improved makeover of Caleb as well. And um, a couple of you guys did comment that you would be interested in seeing the air makeover video. So offer vampiric training. Dang, we're a higher rank than Caleb. Get wrecked. But I wanna, I wanna spar though. Vampiric spar, yes, yes, yes. Hey son, how are you doing? This is Ren's son, by the way, his name's Kieran. The, he was the result of the random hookup that she had with that one guy at the bar who had a whole ass family. I don't know if you guys remember that, but. <laughs> Hi Caleb, wanna spar? I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't even talked to you in a while, but like, let's, let's fight. <laughs> of course, Dolly is front and center to watch this go down. Why am I not surprised? Caleb, what are you doing? It's not working for some reason. What if we offer him training? Oh, the sprinkler's broke. Use vampire powers. Drink plasma. Hmm, I guess vampiric spar isn't on here. That's so lame. Muscarafa. Muscarafa. Wow, that's cool. All right, Sarah's up. She's kind of upset because she didn't really have a good holiday, which is dumb. First of all, she's having spooky cookies for breakfast. Okay, what's next on the calendar? So we got nothing today. Eros's birthday is tomorrow. That's super exciting. Also, you guys were saying that I should like, what's the word? Nail it down with Marielle before she gets married because yeah, you guys are very right about that. So let's, um, let's go out with her and ask her if she wants to be our partner. I'm really unsure if Dine Out is working again. I haven't tried it in a while, but there was another update, so maybe it got fixed. I'm so excited to see Eros's freaking child form and learn his first trait, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so fun. Oh, not Mari being, oh my God, Mari's an elder. She does not look like one. She's the bartender though. Okay, so this is the restaurant where all of this went down, but hopefully, hopefully it won't happen again. That was just like, I feel like it was, I don't want to say an anomaly, but it was definitely like, it wasn't the restaurant's fault. It was the Sims fault, 100%. She looks so pretty though. I love this dress on her. Pretty fancy outfits and fancy restaurant for lunch, but hey, 
<laughs> worth it, I think. Wow, nice coat. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. It looks like it still might be broke. Maybe if we request a table from the host stand instead of clicking on a table, it'll work. I guess we'll find out. Whoa, Stella Darden, you're looking extra beautiful tonight. Okay. Still not working. Wait, wait. Oh, oh. Nope. Man, that's really unfortunate. Okay. Well, I guess we could just sit at the bar and order drinks or something. Wait, what? Oh my god. Sarah has learned more about Marielle and is now neutral to her. Girl, no. Sit down right now. You you are not getting cold feet right now. I'm sorry, but no. Dang, she pounded that wine. Holy crap. Where'd she go? Girl, do not make this hard. Are you trying to get a table? Girl, I already tried. They're too busy. Okay, this restaurant is being way too buggy. I want to ask her if she wants to like go to a different spot, but she keeps running away. Where are you? Oh, are you peeing in the bush? Respect, respect. Ask to change venue. Oh my God, help me. She's doing what Zoe used to do all the time and kicking that soccer ball everywhere she goes. Let's go somewhere else. This place is, uh, it's too crowded. They don't have any tables. Where shall we go? Let's go to this lounge in um, the New World from Lovestruck. I keep forgetting what, what it's called, but they've got that cute little uh, love wall. We went there with Edison and Eloise and that turned out well, so let's, <laughs> let's go again. Okay, there's a celebrity making a rare appearance at the lounge, so now's the time to put your best foot forward or at least out of your mouth. Right. Dude, I can't with all these deaths. Elliot, rest in peace, Elliot. Oh my God, the date ended and she just dipped. Our mother? Yeah, we could chat. What's up, mom? I'm kind of interested in meeting her kids. I wonder if Cliff lives with her or if she moved out and moved in with him. Teddy has spread some juicy gossip about Evangeline. It must be about her uh, ability to age backwards. Who knows? Let's see. She, yeah, she still lives. She still lives in Evergreen Harbor. Let's go visit. I wonder if Cliff moved in with her. We should meet our siblings eventually, right? Also, I'm curious to see how old they are, who they're gonna live with when she passes. Oh, wow. They're all old. They're all teens, it looks like. And Cliff does live there. Mari lives there too. Quite the full household over there, my goodness. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hello, everybody, and how are we doing? <laughs> oh my god, look at these kids, holy crap. Okay, so this is Reed. Wow, he looks a lot like Cliff, for sure. Uh, this is, what is your name? Sam. This is Lester. Oh my god, look at those piercings, though. Wow, these are some handsome boys, they really are. Well, I'm not surprised with Teddy and Cliff's jeans. And this is, uh, An Anton. Wow. They all got Cliff's mouth. Watch. He has like a very heart-shaped mouth. I really like Teddy as an elder. I'm not gonna lie. She looks really cute. Well, hi, siblings. How are you doing? Nice to meet you all. Perfectionist and lazy. That's, inter that's an interesting combo. Hello, I'm Sarah, I'm your sister. Dog lover and vegetarian. Wow. Jealous and green fiend. Okay, we need to meet you still. Look at all my brothers. What? They all have long hair. It's giving Lords of Dogtown. Child of the ocean and cheerful. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> We don't even know Cliff. Dang. You like optimistic Sims? Okay. She's unattracted to Cliff. Cheerful, perfectionist, and slob. Well, wow. I still can't believe it. I can't believe they have four boys. Look at this dude's body shape, though. Holy crap. Built like a burrito. One, a burrito? A Dorito, excuse me. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're being a good mom to uh, your sons. 
really nice to see that you have a nice relationship with your new husband and your sons, your new family, and you left me. That's really cool. It's really freaking cool. But that's no reason to not know my brothers. No reason. Not their fault. This is actually so wholesome. I love it. Well, they're gonna die soon, and uh, these kids will be all alone here. It's pretty wild, isn't it? Let me see how many days you have left. Seven. It's pretty good. Who are you? Felipe. Hold up. Oh, this is to this is Tony's other kid. I remember she had another baby. Oh, Mari. Oh, okay. That's Mari's kid. He's about to age up. He's on day 21 of 21 of his teen years. How many kids does Mari have again? Interesting. Very interesting. We can milk the cow plant. What? Did the cow plant eat someone recently? Are we about to steal their essence? Essence of focus. Very nice. Thank you. All right, let's go home. That was a nice family day. Nice to meet you all. You guys also reminded me that Ren uh, wished in the wishing well for romance, and that's when we got the elder. I could not for the life of me remember which challenge it was or who we were playing with that made that wish. But yeah, you're right. It was Ren. We got that long haired elder man. Oh my God. That was actually so funny. I really need to go back and watch Legacy because you guys remember things that I just completely forgot. So the main reason I wanted to go on that date was to ask her to be our girlfriend and I didn't even get a chance to do it. She must have had somewhere to be she must have right all right what's eros up to i did want to work on his skills before we aged him up what do we got thinking thinking is always it is always the one that i don't like focus on ever it's always the last one that i max it's probably because it's the hardest but i think we might be able to max potty maybe even communication yeah maxing potty is pretty simple Okay, and then if we just like babble to, yeah, just ta even talking, like it gets their their communication up pretty fast. So we might be able to max that. It's getting up there, slowly but surely, 74%. All right, we'll do the last little bit of communication on the iPad, and then we might even be able to do imagination. Who knows? Just kidding, he passed out. Gosh darn it. All right, it's fine. Oh, no, he did it. Nice. Good job, honey. Time for bed. All right, Eros is asleep. Ren is going to go to work. I vote... Let's go to Chestnut Ridge and check out what we can get for our horse. You guys said that we can get horse ambrosia, so I'm gonna see if we can. I'm not ready for Dolly to be gone. Gosh darn it, you guys, my acid is so bad right now. It's just like right here, you know? It's so uncomfortable. I might have to go take some medicine. Oh, look at her. <laughs> She's dressed for Chestnut Ridge. For sure. Okay, so where do we buy? Where can we buy that stuff that you're talking about? Was it at like one of these stores? This one? Shop for groceries and goods. What was that about tobacco? Sarah has no pot pack box. What? Is that from base mental drugs or does that really come with the, the pack? Horse age up treat? That's definitely not what I want. I'm not seeing it here. I wonder if there's like different items every day or something like that. So you have to cook ambrosia and turn it into horse brosia. Wait, turn it into a horse brosia treat, then feed it to the ghost. Okay. Well, if we're going to be making ambrosia, we might as well do this grim thing, right? Ask the spirits about ambrosia on the seance table. Weird. I don't know. Oh my God. Look, it's, it's, um, uh, Eros's dad. She's about to chat with him. What else can we do here? Buy mini goats and sheep, sell items. All right. Well, can we share baby pictures with you? Is that weird? Share photos. Might as well. Seven, can you still enter competitions? Let me see. I brought Dolly here. We can do Western pleasure. We already did beginner. Oh, we can totally do intermediate if we wanted to. <gasps> Let's do it. We've only done one horse competition. We might as well do one while we're here, you know? Good luck. Hmm, what? Lame, we didn't win anything. Nothing, not even third place. Well, that was disappointing. At least she doesn't have a sad moodlet about it. Dylan Navarro. 
Oh yeah, I remember you. You were the guy that we met in Selva Dorada that one time. I remember. All right, well, let's go home. I'm gonna invite over um, Marielle. I'm gonna, I think I'm probably gonna move her in, to be honest. I really just wanna like lock it down. I want her daughter to be friends with Eros. Like, so badly, I want them to be best friends. Samantha, too. You guys left a comment like, those three need to be best friends. And I actually love that idea. We also need to get the club back from Evangeline. She's the leader right now since Edison passed and I forgot to get it from him. So I'm gonna invite her over. All right, first things first though. Actually, let's just invite them both over right now. Oh, Kate and Lundy, this must be Tony's other kid. Yeah, Freddie and Tony. Yep. Cheshire. Hi, Marielle. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome. <laughs> oh my god, she's so stoked. Destructive? Are you joking? He's violent and destructive. Eros is a destructive toddler. Destructive toddlers take pleasure in the chaos they leave behind and are more likely to destroy things. Oh god. That's horrible. Violent and destructive. But he's a charmer? Oh. What is he destroying right now is the real question. Nothing? Okay. He's gonna go hit his doll though. No, 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 no. What was that? What was it? Uh, imagination. Yeah, let's max that. Get Just go on your iPad, okay? All right. They're both very satisfied. Aw, I love that for them. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and ask her. Mm, where is it? Is it affection? Relationship? There we go. Dolly's right there watching over. Making sure everything's copacetic. Is copacetic the right word? I think so. Not the clay. I was just about to ask you to be my girlfriend. Now I'm not sure. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Hell yes. I guess they don't jump into each other's arms unless they're teens. Wait, teens take the picture. I just realized that different age stages like react differently when you get into a relationship. They're gonna go woohoo in the animal shed. You know what? I'll allow it. I'll allow it. That's fine. You guys just got into a relationship. Why you want to do in the animal shed is beyond me. But uh, you you do what you got to do, my loves. Oh, they're not going to do it. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, let's move her in. Propose early. Oh my gosh. Yes, ask to join house. I really, really want her in. The house is so lonely right now. Okay, I, yeah. And I also want to bring her kid. J what was her name? Janelle. Okay, Janelle. Welcome to the family. She's still an infant. Ah, hopefully we'll be able to age her up right now. Okay, welcome. Where are you at? Oh, you're just left out here. Okay. Um, when is your birthday? Oh, it's tomorrow. You know what? I'm just going to age them both up. TBH. I don't care. I don't care. I'm in my pretty girl era. I don't know if we will be able to max imagination, but that's fine. Is Evangeline here? Yes. Where are you at? Oh, of course she's bopping around in the garden. She loves this garden. Okay, convince leader to step down. That's my household. How dare you take it from me? Hey, you got my dad's club. I was wondering if like I could have it back. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe you're right, Sarah Compost. Maybe you should lead household. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. Do you have any skills, my dear? Not really, which is expected. Welcome back, Ren. All right, let's go ahead and make a cake for the babies. Um, I did a hamburger cake for his last birthday, so maybe for this one we'll do a, a zombie cake since it is, it was just Halloween. It's probably still October, you know? Still wish we could put freaking candles on pies and on cupcakes. Wouldn't that be cute? There's just certain things that I will constantly wish for in this game. Let's look at your relationships as well. So... Oh, shoot. Whoever Jacqueline is, you are... You do not get along with her. Ah, yes, her. I don't care. You like fitness? All right. Well, she's attracted to Ren, but they have bad compatibility. Oof. Perhaps we should, like, turn off romance with uh, Marielle. Because I really decide not to interact romantically with Sim. I really don't want that to happen. Like, no. No, no, no. It's almost Janelle's birthday. I know, I'm about to age her up. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, I don't think that Eros is gonna match Max Imagination. So let's just go ahead and age him up right now. 
Also, I can't believe birthday candles are 10 simoleons. You have to pay to make the cake and pay to put the candles on. All right, Eros, the time has come. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. The thing I'm most excited for is the trait. Like, we're about to learn the next heir's first trait. I really, really hope it's something like different, unique, you know? Sarah, it's fine. She's like, I always feel like someone's watching me. Who? You have a lot of people watching you, to be honest. Happy birthday, my boy. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, random trait generator. So, Sarah is... Oh my god, how did I already forget? Dance machine, paranoid, and... Wow, I already forgot. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to, like pick something random right now and then um, change it later because I, I forgot their traits. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, so Sarah is paranoid, creative, and dance machine. And then his dad, neat, adventurous, and family oriented. Okay, neat, adventurous, family oriented. I just realized that's kind of sad. He's family oriented, but he he's not gonna be a part of Eris's life at all. Okay, here we go. We're gonna find out his child aspiration and his first trait. Okay, here we go. Neat and creative. Creative, artistic prodigy aspiration. Okay, neat. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'll change this trait in a second in cast, but I want to age, have Marielle age up her daughter as well. Hang on a, hang on a second, is that infant wearing freaking heels? What the hell? How uncomfy. All right, happy birthday. This spit gets me every time. For Janelle, I think I'm just gonna randomize because I don't know um, her dad's traits. So she's gonna be a silly infant. All right. Well, she was blonde and now she has brown hair. I don't know if we should keep that or not, but let's see, let's see what looks best on her. Nabor from Nabor Okay, first things first, Eros. You get the neat trait. All right, and your aspiration is artistic prodigy. Okay, perfect. All right, whoa, you look a little scary right now. I'm not gonna lie. Let's just take all that off. Don't wanna be distracted. Okay, why are your brows are blonde? I have no idea. All right, let's find some hair for him. Let's see here. So we've got that one. We could do this one. We could do that one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do we've got? That one. Do a buzz cut, but no, nah, I don't think I wanna do a buzz cut. Oh, we've got this one too. That one's nice. I think this was the one that he had when he was a toddler. This one's really cool though. I like this. It's between that one and this one. Let's do this one. It's fun. Okay. So whenever my Sim is neat, I like to dress them like, like neat, you know, like really put together. Growing together has such good kid clothes. I swear. Oh my gosh. These swear. Oh, the flowers. Stop it. This shirt is so cute. Shoot. What to choose? What to choose? Okay. I think for every day, we'll do this crew neck. Oh, there's tie-dye ones. Let's see. I like the first swatch the best. This sage color is one of my favorite colors ever. Oh, whoa. Those pants are nice. Hold on. These are from Growing Together, of course. Should we do the cargoes? Maybe? What shoes? For a neat sim? I think that white shoes would be kind of cool. Uh, like white, let's see, where are those? these? Ooh, okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. What is this little watch? Is that an Apple watch? Wait, that's actually really cute. Is that like an Apple watch for kids or something? I like it, that's freaking adorable. Yes, let's do it. Okay, so next up we've got formal wear. Ooh, that's nice. This is from Wedding Stories. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Active wear, whoa. Active wear, let's do this shirt with some, ooh, these are fancy shorts. Oh, these are the ones that he just had on. Oh, what swatch do we wanna do? I don't know if I like the stripes. Okay, let's do those with these. I wish I had jo the Jordans CC for kids. Why don't I? Okay, yeah, those look good with socks. Those are too long, okay. Yeah, that looks good. All right, sleepwear. What do we got in full body? Oh my gosh. Aw, those are so cute. With black and white striped socks. Adorable. So adorable. 
So freaking cute. Party wear. Holy crap. What is going on here? Goodness me. Um, I don't know. What, what do you want to wear to a party, my boy? Maybe something a little less formal. How about... This shirt is really cute. This is also growing together. Wow. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, yeah, that's cute. The little black boots. Swim. Let's just take off all this nonsense. You can keep the bracelets on, but let's change your shorts. Okay, hot weather. I'm gonna do this shirt because I love it so much. Some yellow shorts. Should I give him Crocs? Uh, I think so. I mean, why not? I guess. Or shark slippers? Or these? Or those? No, no. I'm not gonna do that to you. If I had a choice, I'd pick just these white slip-ons. You know what's crazy? I do have a choice. <laughs> okay, cold weather. Uh-oh, what happened to your hair? Hello? Okay. Oh, I really like this full body from Snowy Escape. Ooh, I love this colorway right here. Should we give him cowboy boots? Maybe his mom got him for him. I don't know. No, they look kind of funky, to be honest. Let's see what else we got. What are the, what swatches does this come in? Those kind of match a little. Should we give him rain boots? No, those look weird. Oh, these aren't bad. Okay, let's do those. All right, and with that, we are done with arrows. I'm wondering if we should give him a hat or a necklace or something. I really do like this necklace, but it doesn't show up with that shirt. Lame. None of the necklaces are showing. How disappointing. Ooh, so stylish with a beanie. Okay, maybe no hat. Maybe a hat with cold weather. That's nice. Okay, perfect. All right, next up, we've got Janelle. Oh, look at her. She's so beautiful. Dude, this outfit is something else. It's giving Avatar. Oh my god. Okie dokie, sweet honey baby. Let's see. Let's give you a skin detail, give you some lashes. Your brows are looking good. Hair? Hmm. Aww. Maybe we can give her like something in between blonde and brown. You know? Oh, how sweet. Oh my god, look at this one. I can't. Okay, so that's her with blonde. That's her with brown. I think we should go blonde, because if she's blonde, Eros is brunette, Samantha is redhead. <laughs> we'll have uh, we'll have quite the variety. Oh my god, she is so cute. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's dress you. She is silly. Silly little toddler. What do we want to dress her in? Aww. This one from Nifty Knitting. Oh my god, she looks so cute. This hairstyle just matches the outfit so well. I'll give her some little boots as, as well. So cute. Okay, she can have the same PJs. I'm gonna give her a different hair though. Okay, let's do that. No, a little updo. Yep, perfect. Okay. Okay, for party wear. Oh my god. How have I never noticed these overalls before? Those are the cutest things I've ever seen. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, she looks so cute! Ah, What a little angel. With the sheep shoes. Swim! Oh my god, this is a two-piece bathing suit. Oh, that's adorable. That is so cute. Okay, and then hot weather. Oh my god! Why do I even have this hat? It's so, like, not realistic for toddlers. <laughs> Okay, those shorts, so cute. Let's just find a different shirt. Oh my god, are you kidding? Look at this. Oh my god. That is cute. Okay, and then cold weather. Let's see. Let's do this little coat. I'll give her some leggings. And these shoes? No way, I have moon boots. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, too freaking cute. <laughs> Okay. All right, all done. So there's her everyday, her formal, uh, sleep, party, swim, hot weather, and cold weather. The blonde hair varies depending on the depending on the the hairstyle, but it's okay. It's not that big of a big of a difference. All right. And then arrows. Let's look at his outfits one more time. His everyday, his formal, his athletic, sleep, party swim 
hot weather and cold weather very nice looking very good very nice good morning pineapple i wonder if samantha has aged up yet i'd like to give her her child makeover too but only when she becomes a child because i doubt she'll be a toddler for much longer i'm so excited to have a full family full family again okay next order of business is their bedrooms so I'm thinking that we're going to have to turn this skill room into one of their bedrooms. Um, probably Eros, I would assume. So yeah, let me just go through and delete all this stuff. I do like this guitar though. I want it to... Yeah, we can put it right here. It's so pretty. He can have the fish still. I'm not going to go too crazy with their rooms right now. I'll probably end up building them off camera. But uh, yeah, I just want to give them their essentials and probably like pick a color palette with you guys. Oh, this this is cool. Way too big though. I really like, it's just like so typical, but like blues for arrows. Ooh, we could do red too. Oh, he's neat too. So that's a nice rug. This room is 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 for turning out really plain right now, but we can we can sh uh, fancy schmancy it up in a minute. It doesn't really look like a kid's rug, does it? Or a kid's room, I mean. Okay, I like that rug better. Should we put the bed facing this way? Then we might have some issues with the curtains. What if I put the bed over here? A little bit more room for activities. Okay, I'm gonna get him a desk. That desk matches this end table pretty good. And then, uh, let's see, should we get him a gaming chair? This one's kind of cool, it's fun. Should we do that one? How does it look? Oh, I actually really like that. Okay, perfect. I don't know if I want to get him a full-size computer. Maybe just this little uh, iPad thing? Don't worry. I'll, uh, I'll put a lot of kids' decorations in here so that it doesn't look so, so adult, you know? Because it is looking a little adult right now. Oh, we have this blast-off lamp. That's pretty sick. I like it. I like it a lot. Should we move this actually into the corner? Maybe, maybe we shouldn't have the fish tank in his room. Maybe we should put it in the hallway. And move the door over a little bit. Oh, but then you can't. Mm, shoot. What do I do with it? What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. I think I'm gonna just put it down here for now. And yeah, I'll find a place for it later. But there is not enough room in his room for it. Okay. I definitely still want him to have this. And then uh, this thing was cute. I loved having this in his room. So adorable. What else? Toy box. Sure. The toy box can go at the end of his bed. And then uh, changing table. Ro oh, this rocket ship. Size you down. Okay. And we still have room right here for a dresser of some, sh some short. Oh, he has the artistic prodigy aspiration so we should probably get him one of those and then what's this one look like no i like that one better we can do this one for his clothes yeah that's nice let's put a window here to fill up some of the space move that over one and then um we just need some art and stuff oh look at this lizard okay sure why not oh curtains mm. I'm thinking blinds probably from my first pet stuff. I think that these are from. I literally can't believe that these come in that pack. The only good thing about this pack, to be honest, the gray blue. They actually look kind of weird on these windows. Shoot, maybe not. Or should we do these ones? They're way too small. Oh, shoot. I don't know. Oh, we have these CC ones that look good. They fit the window nicely. They do come in blue. Okay. I kind of wish there was like a down variant, like a down version of it. That's okay. You can't have it all. I'm going to change it to the blue plaid and the bed frame to dark blue. What is this? Is this like a Harry Potter poster? That's kind of cute. This one? I don't know what that is. What's this? Sports, anime, oh, it's a reading one. Ooh, this one's kind of cool. Okay, 
Yeah, that looks cool. And then above his art table, we can do, what is this? Artistic assembly? Sure. What do the swatches come with this? Whoa, I didn't even know this existed. This is really cool. Sports? Cats and animals? Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna put a little rug here. If he's neat, he'll probably want to wipe his feet off before he comes in the house. Okay, cool. Looks pretty good. I might add some more stuff later. We'll see. Oh, a mirror. There is not any room for one. Sorry, my boy. Oh, I just realized he got the room with no bathroom. Whoops. All right, so in here, I think I'm just gonna like change the swatches up a bit. Just just to like be a little bit more girly. I don't think we need the changing table anymore. Let's put the bed over here. Books above the bed. I think I want a different rug. I'll give her the cracker rug. Why not? I haven't used it. I don't think ever. All right. She's a toddler, so she needs a lot of toys and toys and things. Um Let's get her a new potty. Hmm, which dollhouse? Ooh, the little barn? Yes, I think so. Okay, what poster is that? Oh yeah, the little space llama. We should size this down and put it in here. Okay, let's get her this toy box and get her an iPad. And, oh my gosh, this playhouse. This is so adorable. Oh, I kind of want to get it, but I don't know where to put it. I don't think I'm feeling this rug either. I kind of want to do... Yeah, let's do this fuzzy one. Oh, yes. Yeah, so cute. All right. And then just a little comfy... Comfy little seat. Star one. I do love the star one. It's too cute. All right. Good enough for me for now, at least. He's already playing in the playhouse. Wow, he didn't waste any time. Oh, I don't think I put a proper light in this bedroom. It's awfully dumb. Okay, there we go. Oh, his room looks so cozy. <laughs> I love it. All right, congratulations, Sarah. You have secured yourself a love. I hope you're as stoked as I am. Oh no, unrequited love. Nothing hurts more than one-sided feelings and affections. Okay, you're getting two in your head. You better stop it right now. You're gonna scare her away. Aw. Look who's here. He came over for Eris's birthday. Uh, that wasn't the terms that we came to, but uh, hey, who am I to keep you? Hi, Edison. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you're going on the computer right now. He literally is. I just saw him thinking about a computer. Oh my God. Yep, here he comes. Oh, you butt nugget. You butt nugget. Oh, nope, he changed his mind. He heard me talking about him. Okay. I should probably lock this computer. Aw, look at her wands. Be friendly with arrows. Aw, what a sweet baby. She already wants to play with her brother. <laughs> oh, let me check and see about Samantha real quick. You know her, right? Hmm, does Ren know her? Oh, yep, she is. She's a child. Oh my gosh, look at her hair. She has the same hair as Evangeline. Oh my gosh, I can't. That is so exciting. Let me summon her real quick. I want to see her. Oh my gosh, look at this little girl. Okay, she got Slumber Party Animal and Adventurous. Oh, why do you have an elder skin detail on, my darling? Let me help you. Okay, so this is her without a skin detail. Let's look at Evangeline. I know Evangeline has skin detail on too, but I just want to see. I mean, Evangeline has such a unique look. Like her facial features are so just like striking. I think maybe girly pop here might have gotten more of Jamie's jeans, but I guess we'll see when she ages up. She's got like this permanent like sus look. Like she she don't trust you. She don't she don't trust anyone. I mean, I would be I would have that look too if I was her. If we're being frank, let's give her some nicer nicer brows. You know, not so angry. And then, do we want her to have the same hair as Evangeline? I think that's actually pretty sweet. I wish I had all of the hairs that I have for adults, for, for kids too. There's I have some really cute curly ones. Yeah, this girl is like insanely pretty, like model pretty. I'm really not surprised though with who her mom is. Oh, that one's kind of cute. I've never used that one before. We got the horse ranch one. We've got this one, this one. I really want this hair without the beret though. 
that one. This is the hair that Evangeline has right now. I actually do think that we should keep her with this one though. I feel like she would have a really cool style as well because of Evangeline. <laughs> Look at how cute. This outfit's really out there, but I absolutely love it. It's so cute. All right, well, there's Samantha's little makeover. Super quick. I only did a few outfits, the one that we were, were gonna see all the time, but it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited for this generation. But I think I'm gonna end this episode right here, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. We got a lot done. We were able to finish Ren's Aspiration, Age Up Arrows, Secure a Girlfriend. Super productive. Thank you so much for watching. As always, leave me comments, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.